So in this video, I'm going to show you how to resave a game. Now, when you get this SD drive, the operating SD card comes preloaded with uh, hundreds, if not more, of um, of games on it. Now I've got a 16 gigabyte SD card here, straight out of the box. I haven't formatted it, so I'm going to show you how to save a game. Now a lot of you are saying, well, why would you want to save a game that's come with the card to a blank one? Well, say for instance you've got um, a game that isn't on there, so you'll have to load it in on the tape to resave it to SD. So this, I'm just doing this for quickness really, so computer's on. Now we want the F1 configure memory. If you're going to save a game to an SD card, you want the F1 configure memory. So F1. Right, okay, so now we have to load in the operating system. So it's load, quote, star, quote, comma, eight. And then type run. Go down to Commodore 64 programs. Now we want to find, um, I'm going to go for D, Driller. So all games beginning with D are loading up. Green light comes on. Right, here we go. So we want to go down to D, R, Hi. D R I double L E, so that would be driller. So we're loading driller. Now that's loading in, loading in in real time as the fifteen forty one drive would be. So it would take um, about a minute or so. So I'll just pause it. Okay, so that's loaded in. Uh, to get past this screen here, press restart. And it's just loading in the last bit. So there's Driller. So now I'm going to press the left hand button on Action Replay and you get this menu come up. So now we're going to take out the operating SD card and put in the blank SD card. Now, F1 backup. So, F1. Now, that's crunching the game down, configuring it. I think it is. Could be wrong. It takes a couple of seconds. Now, we've got A, disk drive turbo. B, disk drive warp. C, disk drive, disk save, sorry, disk save standard. So I'm going to do C, disk save standard. Now it's asking for a file name. So I'm going to just going to put in drill, drill. Press return. Saving drill. Got the green light on and the red light is on, so it's saving it. So I'm just going to pause it while it saves. Okay, so that's finished saving, and it says press a key. So I press a key, and I've gone back to the ordinary action replay menu there. So I'll switch the machine off to do a reset. So I've got the operating SD card there. Make sure you don't save to that. So put that to one side. I've got the blank one in there. So switch on. We'll go normal reset. And now we'll type in load quote drill quote comma 
paint. Now that's loading in and it should last a few seconds isn't it? and there we go and it's come up with ready. So now I'll type in run. Now that's loading in drill which is driller. So I'll just pause it while it loads. Okay so it's loaded in. It took about 1 minute 15 seconds loading it in off the blank SD card but it's not blank now. I've got driller on now. So what do I do to get this to the right space? Oh here we go. Joystick, I don't know if it's in the right port. Yeah it is. So that's driller. So I'll press the reset button. And then the reset button on this. So I've saved it now to this disc. This disc has now got driller on it. So I'll put the operating disc back in. So it's all ready to go again. So that's how you would save a game. Um, say for instance you loaded it in on tape and you wanted to save it in, save it onto the SD card, then this is the way to do it. So if anyone's not seen the other videos, there's the SD card disk drive, which plugs into the serial port, or extent, what's it called, um, well anyway, it plugs in there. Um, so the cassette port is still free and available to load in games from tape to resave to an SD card using the Action Replay V1. Now I'm not sure if that is the latest action replay cartridge there is, but um, it, it's pretty good. You've got your reset button on there. So I hope this, this was helpful for you, if you're thinking of getting one of these SD card disk drives. Okay, bye bye.